Hello and welcome back to Stone Sharp with me, Barton. Right, we need to eat and drink. Then I'm gonna, um, let's see. I'm gonna pop these in here. Everything else I think I can bring with me for now. So let's get ourselves out. And go get in a bit of trouble, I guess. So we'll go look for a fight. There should be an ambush out here. We can do that, then come back. And the whole idea is we want to get ourselves that look. Okay, here's the ambush. Get ready. Use that to move away from you a bit. Okay, you're dead, good. Then we deal with you. Okay, good. Here are the rest of the guys. Interesting that two range dudes as well. Okay, well that's one done. This guy obviously going to be a bit more difficult. But we're having good success at the moment. Oh nice. Wow, that was good. Okay. Let's take everything. And we got a purse as well. Okay, well let's merge it with that. Then we'll head on back into town, drop the stuff off, sleep for an hour, and go find another ambush, which should be further up the same road on the next map, I think. Everyone is going to bed, so we won't get to sell things. And everyone's coming into the pub for the night as well. So let them get in first. Then hopefully we can get past them. There we go. The stairs. Go here. Let's drop some stuff off. So we got the man catcher. Um, I'm sure we can fit this some way. Um, let's see, we can fit you. Here. Hmm. Interesting dilemma. What about here? Okay, we can put that there. It's a good start. We then have. Space for that there. And space for that that there. Okay, then you can go there for now. And then we get ourselves back downstairs. Oh, actually, no, we need to sleep for an hour. Because you don't want to lose that progress. Okay, head is clear. That's good. Then we head back out. Well, everyone's having fun in the inn. We just go and do what we need to do. Let's refill our water skin as well. Okay, good. We shouldn't get ambushed now because their bodies are still there. We're going to go up here. I know 
there was an ambush on this next road, so I'm gonna gonna try and stumble across the guys away from where they actually ambush me. I'm not spotting anybody, so I think we have to go trigger the ambush. Which I don't like, but I'm going to have to do it anyway. Right, so let's start heading down this way. Okay, so here's the ambush. We now need to choose where we're going to go, so I want to go that way. Okay, yeah, I want to go towards that dude. Good. Now I can start moving that way. Ooh, that's not good though. Let's kick you. Yeah, this is not going to work out well. Yeah. Damn. Okay, but at least we saved. So I have to work out how to maneuver in that particular ambush to be able to get away from. It's basically the, the guy that got to us first. He's the dude we want to avoid. But really, we've got to avoid everyone because as soon as you get tied up by one, then the others close in on you. And that's not what you want. Oh, hang on. Why is this ambush triggering again? Did I not... What? Did I not sleep the other time? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did something really stupid and didn't sleep. But if that's the case... I'm gonna take these guys out. Okay, so you're done. Treaty 1, I think there's a new, maybe a new one for us. We know that we have to get back into town. And I know immediately, once I open, once I open the chest, whether, whether it's actually a, um, a new ambush or not. Or where do we save, sorry, or not. Oh, uh, wrong way. Okay, it seems like everyone has left. So it looks like, yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's a new one. We don't have space there, right? Um, there is a little bit of space if we move things around a bit. I can put that there. We're going to read this. So we already, we've already read that because you didn't get a new thing. So that can be sold. Okay. So I think we are best off. Um, getting the stuff that we're going to sell. We're, we're, I think we're keeping that one, right? Yeah. So, 
What else are we selling? Probably that as well, right? Yeah, and then we're going to sleep until morning. Because otherwise we just don't have enough space. Eat and drink. Then go sell everything that we have. Buy some more food. Then go out again. But it should mean that we're at like maybe 15, yeah, 1500 of 5,000. Okay, he's up nice and early, but he loves to get bargains. That's why he's up nice and early. I'm gonna sell those to the other dude. I have to sell you that. Great sword. Maces, daggers one, okay. We're looking for, he gives us, wait, he gives us two for that, 12 and 24. Two, 12 and 24, what do you give? One, eight and eight, yeah. So he gives a better price on that stuff, at least. Talk to you. He'll give us 16 for that. What will he give us? Fifteen. Wow. He even swings you on stuff that you would think that against a carpenter he would he would beat the price. Okay. Let's come down here. And then we'll drink. Eat that. He's not happy about it. You can see why. We poisoned the shit out of ourselves. Uh, more cheese. Please don't go moldy this time though. Okay. Then we're off out. We could go sleep for an hour. Um, but I'm going to hope that we don't have to reload. It's always a risk though. Especially when you're going looking for a fight. Okay, so their bodies are still there. We know there's going to be another ambush up here. We also know that it's going to be difficult for us to deal with it. So I think the thing to do is get ambushed and then get distance. Don't kill any anyone. Just get the distance first. very cautious now to know the exact moment that we trigger the ambush these saiga are not helping okay there we go is the ambush i do not have a clue where the best place to go to is, so I'm going to go, there is going to be someone coming on the road. Maybe we'll go over this way. Okay, it's someone, there's a guy there. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Oh shit, that's not good. Right, switch. I'm really tempted to see myself killing this guy. 
geez, not with that guy with him as well. Let's dodge. Oh my god. Yeah, we're already screwed. Let's kick you away. Right, uh, this is definitely a reload. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man, we got absolutely on there. Okay. So, eat. Drink. Go down, sell stuff, then... Taking the chance didn't work, so... We should come back and save and go from there. Let's fill our war skin. Let's see what he gives us for things like the the man catchers. Yeah, he gives us more. I think the other guy's just completely a swindler. And we should probably only sell him books. because we can't sell the books to anyone else. And then, let's see, Pyromantic, Combat Mastery 3, Daggers, Daggers 2. Do we already have Daggers 2? We do, yeah. So we don't need that. Swords 1, we need that. I'm going to buy a copy of that. Let's read it. As it was mentioned above, the most important secret to impeccable fencing is proper edge alignment. With enough training, it's fairly simple to deliver deadly wounds with a flick of a wrist. However, most sword swings require the entire body to participate. A strike performed with shoulder and hip rotation is capable of striking through your enemy's defenses, chop off a limb, or simply send the head flying. The skill of applying power to swings is especially vital when dealing with well-armored foes. It's worth mentioning that it's impossible to slice directly through mail and plate armors, unless we are talking about orcs. Strength has to be paired with accuracy to cut at less defended parts and gaps in the armor. Aim for the throat, face, armpits, groin, hands. Even a shallow wound to those areas can cause a massive bleeding and weakening and weaken your foe. To cut through gamberson or tough hide, you have to keep your sword in perfect condition. Don't forget to timely sharpen it. Clean the blade from dirt and caked blood. And most importantly, eye it at least every few days. Flaxseed oil is the cheapest and the most readily available one. If you have money to spare, consider using clove oil. In the next chapter, I'll also share some details about a large section of alchemical paste, selection of alchemical paste, which have recently appeared on the market. Okay, cool. So then we can sell that back to you for a little bit of cash. Right, and then I'm going to go, if I can afford it, go get my sword sharpened see switch no won't let me okay switch there we go okay cool now hopefully that's gonna help us a lot Gonna eat that, which will poison me for a bit. Then I'm gonna drink. And then I'm gonna go see the cheese lady. Drink again. There we go, finally. And then sleep for an hour. Right, so hopefully uh, repairing our weapons will do us some good. It, sh it will do us some good. That's a definite, but will it do enough good is the thing.
because as I've said many times, when, when it, when enemies close up to us, that's when it gets really scary because we're not, we're not putting out the damage that we need to. Let's eat that one. So ideally, we need to deal with two or three more ambushes to get our confidence up. Okay, so here comes the ambush. Let's get ready for it. Okay, so he's dead. Yeah. Okay, then we can deal with you. and get ready for the next one. And we can use this. Okay, switch. Let's see what this does this time. Okay. That was good. We got a bunch of stuff. Then I'm going to head straight back into town and sell it all. But again, not sleep because although sleeping does save our progress, we need to be able to do more than one fight between saves. Oh, we should have gone straight up to the carpenter. Even he doesn't give a good price on on um, unidentified stuff, but Hey, what can you do? Sell us on that. And then back out we go. So the next, we know the next um, ambush is going to be more difficult. And it's really the, the positioning. Like it's, it's a much better ambush in terms of it its effectiveness against us than this one here. So we have a bit of thirst a little bit. Drink. And especially that initial period, like the initial couple of moves where we're not sure what's the best direction to go in to actually get some distance away. If we do that, um, we'd be a lot better off. Let's start moving up. Okay, we're getting close. I think it's somewhere around there. the ambush. I'm going to start moving this way. Okay, you can see that dude. I'm going to start going that way. Okay, then use this. Get some space. Okay, so I have him to deal with. The other guy is catching up, which is not good. Let's use that. Now I can get some proper space. Oh, that's not good. Okay, get over there. Oh, why the hell are the, all 
all these stupid things in the way. I use that. Okay, one dead guy, that's nice. Can get there. Go here. Good. We need that because of that. Zone in. I really hate the way that happens. Okay, I think we can switch now. Kill him. Good. Okay, switch back. Rest. Okay, eat that one. Let's go over here so we have some distance on these guys. Okay, and aim. Okay, then get some distance. Okay, good. Now, I feel like we can deal with you up close. Yeah, just about, but we did it. And rest. See though, that this guy here was the main threat. If he had caught us the way the other two caught up on us, we would not have gotten out of that ambush at all. doing on so we have space we should go get ambushed again yeah we're not doing bad it's like 2000 to Saigas okay so I think we have to head across this way And I think this next map then has an ambush. Yeah, here we are. Okay. Get some space. Okay, I'm going to try and kill this guy. I'm going to start moving away. Oh, this might have been a bit too late. Screwed. Okay, well, get some space. One dude. Okay, it's just one dude. Uh, try kick him. Oh, now there's a second guy. It's not good. We've got eight until that's coming up. Ooh, oh, oh, they're all here. Three more. Two more. One more. Okay, that space. And then just keep running. You gotta hope that there's nothing blocking your way. There's too many of them. So far we've got a clear run. Still don't have enough space though. Ooh, and we do have something coming up that's gonna block us. You have a chance though to change up to there. That's good. Hey, 
Would you guys like to hunt some Saiga maybe? I definitely recommend that you go hunt Saiga, not me. Okay, another chance here. Good. Hope you're right, and they do get what they deserve. It's good. Let's get through. Hmm, they're not following. Right, we can rest. Definitely need to rest. We should drink something as well. And eat something. Okay, and let's go down this way. Zone in there. Okay. Let's see that dude there. Go for space. Turn that way. Good, he's dead. Now we're a little less worried. Still worried, though. That's good. That gives me enough space, I think, to maybe kill this guy. And shoot you because you're coming at me. Which Okay, good. Then switch back because I know there's up at least one more guy. Shooter dude. Oh, there. Okay. Wait. Inner henchman. Okay. So you're done. You can't fit your round shield. Uh, we can actually. that let's get back to town so a bit of luck there i think on that last one definitely looked like there was a couple of times when we could have got killed but hey i think we're due a bit of luck right So I think that leaves us at, well, we were at 1500 at one point, right? I think maybe at 1700, 20, wow. Okay, 2300, just shy of halfway. gonna be pretty good for us then it looks like it's evening time so yeah fire is lit 
people going home. It looks like a sleep until the morning type scenario here. Uh, let's fill our water skill. Skin even. Uh, drink. We pop in here. And we'll go sleep until morning. I oh, wonder you two move out of the way. Oh great, another guy moved in the way. Ah, thank you. Finally. Okay, so I'll point in sleeping for less than through the night because we're full of stuff. Right. Uh, we do need to eat something else. we do that as soon as we get out the door. Ah, beat one of them out at least. Nope. Don't think you need that. <laughs> Right, straight up to the carpenter. Let's chat with you. Not sure how many our quiver holds because it, it seems to change a lot. Right, we've done all that. We're waiting to get some more food. She says she's got bread, meat and vegetables. That is not bread, meat and vegetables. You're a liar lady. You're the vegetable lady, right? Fortunately, more cheese is what we're after. She's going to run out of cheese pretty quickly. Okay, then we go for a nap for an hour. Then we're ready to go out. Or at least one more ambush. The ambush uh, in the vineyard should be reset. So we'll just find, we'll follow the road until we find another ambush then. Okay, this one up here hasn't reset either then. Let's go across this way. Hey there, Bison. I can be dumb enough to attack you for a while, because you do know we're going to be dumb enough to attack them again at some point in the future. Right, let's go find the road. It should be just up here. Yep, yeah, and then we can zone in. And we'll see what we're going to get here. You get a lovely rabbit.
Okay, I think the next map, this one will have one for us, I think. Uh, let's eat that. That's a Saiga. Okay, it should be pretty soon. I think it's just beyond this. Mm, maybe not. No, okay. Check the next one. Let your rabbits. Right, maybe just up here. Maybe the word's gone out that ambushing us is maybe not the best idea. Okay, we're going to go on to the next one. We're definitely going to trigger an ambush soon, though. Yeah, we're here that we could just be hunting wolves if we don't find an ambush. Or we could do both. Okay, so I'm going to go look for some wolves. Maybe there's some kind of party on, and all the wolves and the bandits are gone to the party. Okay, nothing there. I'm gonna grab that as well. Okay, got a bit of thirst on. too high but right there uh, don't worry dear we don't know where you are we can't see the rabbit down there but we let him get away yeah it doesn't seem like I run into anything here Let's just come straight down, go back and grab that, regain the roads, and then see what this map has for us. I'm going to be very salty if we eventually, like, finally find an ambush and then just get our ass handed to us. It's a lot of traveling to get your ass handed to you. 
especially when we're trying to make progress. So nothing there either. Have we triggered too many ambushes recently? Okay, imagine a guy though um, walking around the forest waiting to be ambushed. Hedgehog, oh no. Gonna get ambushed by hedgehogs. Okay. I remember there being a particular ambush up here that we find it, find it difficult to get by. I'm gonna shoot this dude for now though. Something aggressive, at least. Right, I need to use that. Got some space. Right, you're dead. It's good. Need to eat something. Um, well, we got tons of these. Let's go see if the boar died. I don't think the deer did. Boar might have died though. Um, there's the rabbit. The deer knows well camouflage wherever he is. Ah, the boar did die. I think we leave the meat though. Let's get back on the road so we can trigger the ambush if it is going to happen. No, no ambush. Okay. Keep going. Oh, another penny bun. Oh, hi there. Nice. A pair of antlers like that. Okay, we'll leave the meat. Here we go. Here's the ambush. Okay. So, go that way. Okay. Oh, oh. Let's go this way. Good. See if anybody follows. So far, no. Okay, so I'm gonna go south a bit. That should give me a chance. To single out one of the dudes. Yeah, 
that dude that we shot a couple times is dead. He's going to be close to dead now. Right, let's rest. That's enough. Let's go right here. Okay, good. Then we've got you to deal with. Okay. This is going to be tough. The switch. Man, he's very aggressive. Oh, he got us. Okay. Well, such is life. Okay. Well, that is going to be the end of that one. We are making progress. Um, let's see exactly where we are. Okay, we're still at 2300 or 2300. Okay, but yeah, we're making progress. It's good. So, hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Stay safe out there. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right. Or checking out some other videos here on the left. Or perhaps you might even share with some friends.